Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today, we're back here in Prison Architect, and there's a Polaroid to click by the gates, because I'm done with this place, it's just a bit weird. So we're just going to leave, because I think we're pretty happy with what we've done so far. So, let's see what's next. Chapter 4, Conviction! We are, we're on Chapter 4, fantastic. I feel like we've done really well so far. Oh my god. Oh, spiderweb tattoo guy. Managed to find some alcohol. He's a bit naked. The lack of engagement at this facility is shocking. Men deprived of every shred of humanity. They're being shown scant compassion or respect. It's not what these men deserve. Wow, he's got a good accent. Indeed, Captain. There is no way to treat a human being, or rather, this is no way indeed. They're deprived of every shred of humanity. That's what you just said a second ago. Why would they? Why should they abide by our rules? You can't expect them to respond in any way but with the utmost resentment. <laughs> we need classrooms, drug rehabilitation programs, workshops. They can start to take some pride in their skills. You misunderstood me, Doctor. These men aren't human. See for yourself. Look at this. He's gonna go in and he's gonna show you the tattooed dude. On your feet, Moran! No! I will not get on my feet! <laughs> You've got a visitor. <laughs> Rehabilitation. Might as well teach monkeys to play the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I miss playing the banjo. I want to get a banjo again, guys. What's your name, son? Man asked you a question. Henry, sir. Oh, he's got quite an interesting voice, isn't he? Must be cold down here, Henry. Put this on. Lice in the bed, sir. Eating me alive. Shirt keeps out the rats. Biggest ones I've ever seen. Holy crap a moly. How are you sleeping? Don't sleep. Only thing I do in here is think. Lots of time for thinking. What do you think about? Dying, mostly. And my little girl. She'll need you to be strong, Henry. This will be hard for her, too. Been behind bars every day of her life. She don't even know I exist. Oh. It's never too late to change a life, Henry. I'd like to come and see you again, if I may. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. God, that guy's got such a creepy voice, isn't he? Call me, Walter. Call me. Hey, 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 Walter. Hey, call me. <laughs> Can we do something about those rats? This isn't the third world. I'll get some rat poisoned in there. <laughs> I don't believe him somehow. But anyway, we're going to fix it. Apparently, we're on the case. Here we go. Dr. Walter Hurst. Bam. There we go. Following the recent tragedy at Alchem Alchemico State Prison, I can speak, we are under immense political scrutiny until a permanent re re replacement is found for the CEO position. I'd like you to take the reins. There have been a, state, a spate of suicides this facility recently, and it's not hard to see why. But we have a more immediate problem. The powers that have been decided have, that be have decided to send us a huge batch of new inmates. Oh, crap! The first will be arriving tomorrow, and we don't have anywhere to house them! <laughs> oh, dear, this is not good. We need you to build a brand new cell block with enough space to handle the new intake. Shit the bed. Okay. Well, they've got at least they planned it out for us. I've laid out a potential time for the new cell block here. This will give us new cells to handle the intake. And the design includes its own job. That's very good. Uh, but up to you if you choose to follow this design or do something totally different. My job is to provide as well for these men. Get that new cell block. Okay. Well, let's follow his design. Holy crap. <sighs> So we need to... Oh, the road's in a weird place in here, isn't it? Bloody Nora. Okay, foundations. Materials. Perimeter wall. There we go. 
Uh, perimeters wall. So we just need to get these in there to make this place. Oh crap! Nice and safe. Okay, so that nobody can run away. That's kind of the idea, anyway. Good stuff. And then go in and get a nice brick wall place built. Oh no, that's wrong. Uh, we need to go ahead and do the brick building. Perfect. And then it looks like they want... Is that a door already in place here? Yeah, large shell door's already in place. Okay. Uh, and then we can go ahead... And we don't want to do gravel because they can pick up gravel. Uh, what do you think? Stone floor? Yeah, let's go with the stone floor. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do we have plenty of people doing their job? It seems to be. There's plenty of power, like loads of power. That's good news. Uh, utilities are pretty much linked up to this place already, which is good news. So we'll go ahead and just carry on planning it whilst he's... Well, actually, we need that to be built, don't we? So let's just... Let's just go ahead and let them kind of like work on the building as we go. Once the building is up, we can come back down to normal speed again, which I think will be the best way of doing this. I don't know the idea of the prison, the prison being like two ways across the road, but there is a road like entrance and exit, so that doesn't make it as difficult to work with, I suppose. Um, call me paranoid, but when I make a prison, I'm going to have like a perimeter wall and then another perimeter wall, just in case they try to escape, because that could be like seriously the end of the world. Okay, so how's this coming along now? They're actually doing really well. Uh, how are, what sort of star situation do we have? 22 workmen. Well, that's good. They seem to be doing a pretty good job. They might actually sack a couple of those to try to save a bit of money. We are in heavily in debt, though, so that might not happen, actually. Uh, what's the report situation here? Do we have any grants that we can get? Uh, basic detention center? Yeah, that's what the one we actually need to be doing, so that's fine. Uh, build your first cell block kind of thing. That, that sounds like a good idea as well. Okay, so we'll get that get that working, I guess. Uh, this now requires an entrance, so objectives large jail door goes in here. And then we can start, we can take the game back to normal speed again after this. What's, what's wrong with these guys? They're just resting there. Okay, fine. Do that, no worries. I have to tell you what, if you're going to rest, you're going to get the sack, Mr. Workman. See you later. Okay. This prison is now up. Which is fantastic. Back down to normal speed, please, my good man. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to have concrete walls inside, brick walls outside. Let's see how that looks. That could be quite interesting. I want to just follow this guy's guide because I feel like he might have actually made quite a, quite a decent place here. So what we can do temporarily here to make it a little bit easier is we can lock this open. Uh, go back to concrete walls again. So these these are good sizes for cells. Three by twos, apparently. They look pretty good to me anyway. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Perfect. There we go. So we've actually got enough room for quite a lot of prisoners here. This is what? 7, 14, 21, 28, 35-ish? In here? I don't know how many people we're going to be... Oh, f provide cells for 40 inmates. Maybe that's because we don't... We actually... Yeah, that, that's going to work out quite nicely for us, I think, actually. Okay. Well, that's all done. So, if you guys can just get on with that, that would be super awesome. Uh, what else has we got here? This Is this like... Do we, how do the shower, shower systems work? Shower heads... Yeah, they can just be put in like directly above, like this. I don't want. I don't like the idea of uh, doing anything other than this. I think that's good. I think. <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to be really good or not. Uh, we'll just go for it. How's the perimeter coming along? Are they? Is it all done? Looks pretty good, actually. Looks like it's pretty good. Are they all? Oh, I paused it. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, they're just reinforcing it, it seems like. Or they're doing something to it. Uh, does it have a doorway that we've already put in? Or Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. I can lock that open as well, temporarily. Just so these guys can finish working on what, they, what they're doing here. 
Looks like there does need to be more power going through the area as well. So let's get on with setting this up. Electrical cable? Uh, for some reason now can't go there. And can't go there either. But it can go underneath the door. So, uh, I guess that means that it goes through here then. Yeah, well that's good. That works out quite nicely for us. Now we'll just connect up all that power there. And then we can have this running like along here. And then maybe have a second one? I have no idea. Like, I don't know how far away these things need to be from one another, so we'll just go with that. I think the lights are, the lights are being set up automatically, once again. So, I, again, I'm not sure that it's going to be okay, but it looks like we're doing quite, quite well, I think. Anyway, this one is still locked open because there are problems or what? What's going on? Uh, provide a yard. Oh, I see. We can provide, like, a yard in here. Uh, shower fertility and, and stuff for 40 inmates. Okay. Well, let's quickly go ahead and do... We've got perimeter wall. Is there any way that we can do something more basic, like just a fenced-off area? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the perimeter wall. And just kind of, like, along here. I have no idea how big... 20. Let's go with that. I think that's cool. That could be a little yard that we can work on uh, finishing up here. We'll put in a large jail door on there. And then we'll set this up to be yard. How do we do yard? There it is. Uh, what happened? Oh, someone died. Holy crap. How did that happen? Oh, there's a massive riot going on. Oh dear. Well, this is a problem. Obviously, there's definitely some some stuff that we need to try to take care of here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in, like, ten more guards. Take a look at deployment here. And just go ahead and add people in, like, all these areas here. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, this is all not even been set up yet, so we need to definitely finish finish working on that before we can do anything else here. Um, but we'll, I think it will be a good idea to have a shakedown before everybody gets in as well. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll give them. We'll let them finish their free time. We will go ahead and do the the regular doors that we need to do for all these places, like this. There we go. Not that. Okay. And just finish off this little bit here. Okay, I think that's good. I think that is set up. Might take them a little while to actually get it sorted out, but as long as they are working, then they're doing a, they're doing a good job. Yeah, the perimeter wall's going in for the new yard that we decided to put in here. So that's all doing quite nicely. We've added some extra people in here. There are some people that have been put on conscious. At the moment, our priorities are not too bad, so we're not going to worry too much about that for now. Uh, instead, we're going to worry about just making sure that this place is all kind of set up, really. The power should still be going in. What's the utilities like here? Yeah, we're still waiting for those to come in. A lot of these guys, I think, are still working on this. Yeah, they're, they're like... There's a couple of guys down here that are just finishing off the perimeter fence. Well, they've just got a little bit more to add. And they are tired. Some of them are resting. So they just, yeah, just got a little bit more that they've got to get done. So that's fine. And then they'll start adding the utilities, I assume. So that's fine. We'll let them take care of that. Uh, we're going to do a shakedown after their eats, maybe. We're going to have to make sure there's enough room and enough food in here. So maybe we also want to go ahead and add additional tables and additional benches. Just like that, just to give them a bit more room uh, in terms of making sure that they're all nice and happy. At least I hope they will be from that. Some guy's unconscious. Can we just have a, a one guy just wandering around? That might be a good idea. 
I haven't decided yet. We need the the, the main thing was oh actually to try to because these guys are all injured as well. So let's just get like five doctors just sort of wandering around because they should just help with basic problems, uh, and then janitors like ten janitors just kind of like starting off with the whole cleanup situation that they need to do. Uh, that seems fine to me. So, yeah. They're being let in. Healing dudes up. Ask him to get out again. Please let me out! Please let me out! <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, utilities. Again, the, the power situation just doesn't quite get down to where they are. So let's just do... Is it not allowed to? Or, or what? What's the situation there? Why can't we give them power inside there? That's really interesting. There must be a reason for it. Can I just run it round this area and then like through there? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll just get rid of those. We'll just have it there. It, I mean, it might help. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it's because they can't get in there? No, they can, they can get in there. I have no idea. Literally no idea. Well, power is starting to come in, which is good. That's definitely all working okay. Uh, these require little pipes, is it, maybe? Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, it probably is better to have like little pipes going to here and going through here like this. There we go, just like that. Yeah, because then at least they can they can kind of sort themselves out. And then we can have we can have this large pipe, kind of like running down this way and then like along here. Probably let's have it to there for now, and we can sort out toilets and stuff in a minute. Right, so. That's all fine. Uh, we need to put some beds down. Uh, bunk beds, bench, toilets. Well, we definitely need a load of toilets. We'll have the crappers uh, behind the corner of the door so they don't feel too bad. <laughs> You're all getting your own crappers, guys. Aren't you lucky? Aren't you bloody lucky? Look at this. There we go. So these will all go into here, and then we'll have to give the plumbing uh, a go. But that's something we can sort out in a little while. That's all fine. Uh, and then where? So where are the normal beds? Medical bed, just bed. Yeah, that's all we need. They can all just sort of be at the ends, like this. For now, we don't really need to give them anything else either. So, that's all fine. Loads of beds going in. There we go. Plenty of money, so we're, we're doing fine with this. Shower room seems to be all sorted. Uh, the automatic lighting thing is definitely not working very well. So, we're going to have to start giving them all like individual lights. as well all sort of like lights by their doors I guess I have no idea I think we'll probably take auto lighting off when we make our prison because it looks like a lot of the lighting that is set up in this place is just terrible so we can like fix that and adjust it for ourselves as we go now we need to do more utility stuff because currently there's still no power going to that lot down there. Uh, so what we'll have to do is dismantle that lot. And then go ahead and put in an electrical thingy that can go along this way instead. That should power the whole area, I think. Let's see how it goes. It just all depends on whether or not they can get to it. Uh, for some reason this these two weren't dismantled. 
and they have taken out our small pipes, but that's fine. I was that's kind of what I was expecting to happen anyway. Uh, and then this little bit of piping that's here, we don't need, but we do need this electrical cable, so I'll we'll have to re-add that again, like that, because that should connect up the whole entire grid. Basically, it's this one pipe that's been disconnected. Come on, put it in. There it is. And bang. So now all the places have power. All the places have lighting. That's actually really nice. I think we've done a great job here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then plus 7. So we've got what? Oh, God, I can't do, I can't do math. Uh, 23. And then 7 and 7 is 14. So that's like 40-something. No, 30-something. It's 37 or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> We've got plenty of room, though. I think we're okay. You've been watching the Gapcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gafcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos